I'm about to throw this book out my window. Bro, there's no breathing room. I'm literally fighting for my life right now. I'm actually having heart palpitations right now. Good morning everyone, I'm Sunny. Welcome back to my channel. So I don't want anyone to come at me about wearing the same clothes because I literally just finished a vlog yesterday which is probably the last vlog that was on my channel. Literally the very next day and I'm starting this vlog because it is the first day of school for winter term. And originally I was going to vlog everything but I'm feeling like very overwhelmed. Last night I was just like in bed and thinking about vlogging everything made me a little bit more overwhelmed about everything. So instead I decided that I wanted to pick up a book to distract myself. The book that I decided to pick up was Verity by Colleen Hoover. Oh my gosh, it's like snowing, snowing outside. What the heck? Apparently this book is like wild. I don't know. I heard that it's like kind of scary. So that's why I want to read that. I started it last night and I'm about a quarter of the way through now. I honestly didn't know that much about this book before I started reading it. I'll explain what this book is about after I eat breakfast and everything. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, hi everyone. I'm back. Let me explain this book. It's about our main character. Her name's Lowen and she's like a starving artist pretty much. She's an author, but she's like, she's kind of on a struggle bus. And oh my gosh, can I just say that the opening chapter is like so confusing and traumatizing. She's literally like in a Quentin Tarantino movie and then this guy ends up helping her She has to like go to this meeting and turns out that he is also going to that meeting. His name is Jeremy His wife is Verity, the title of his novel And she's like a really 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 famous and well-off author And she's like been writing this series with like six books And there's three books left in the series that haven't been released or written yet We figure out that Jeremy has actually been in the trenches We figure out that Verity, his wife, actually got into a car crash and she's not in a state Date that she's able to write the rest of her books, but nobody knows that yet. Now they're looking for a ghost collaborator writer to finish off Verity Crawford's really, really famous series. And they obviously asked Loan because Verity Crawford herself liked Loan's writing. And so Loan is like, oh, uh, what the heck? But she's also about to get evicted. So she's like, okay, it's a fat paycheck, like girls hustling. And so she has to go to Jeremy's cottage house or whatever and like go through all of Verity's writing notes. Um, She ends up actually finding like a draft of her autobiography, which is spicy and it's Verity like writing about her whole life and it's like so good. The manuscript is called So Be It. Like you already know that some stuff is gonna come out and it's gonna be like so- Oh my gosh, I'm like actually so into this. What the heck? She says, what you read will taste so bad at times you'll want to spit it out, but you'll swallow these words and they will become part of you. Yet even with my generous warning, you're going to continue to ingest my words because here you are. Carry on. And then we get chapter one. What is going to happen? What is in this biography that is like distasteful? I'm so curious. I predict that there's gonna be some kind of like random plot twist connection between Verity and Lowen. I feel like it's gonna be like a seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo kind of moment. I don't know. I just think that is kind of sus. I feel like there's gonna be something. I am going to continue reading this and I will and I'll let you know. Oh, another thing is that for some reason from like the very first time that we met Jeremy, I don't know why I kept picturing him as Grant Gustin, aka Barry Allen, aka The Flash from the CW's The Flash. <laughs> I keep picturing him as Grant Gustin, but yeah, anyway. Hi, I just wanted to update you that I just finished class. Now I have an hour break until my next class and I'm literally just gonna lie down on my bed right here and read more of Verity. Updates, I just finished chapter six of Verity and <laughs> I'm actually so freaking scared. This is gonna be a non-spoilery vlog, but I'm like so like, I'm like literally so creeped out right now and I'm like scared to like look over my shoulder and like look through my window because I'm scared that I'm gonna see exactly what I think I'm gonna see. Anyway, the next chapter is going to be another chapter of So Be It, her autobiography. We'll see what happens. Okay guys, I just started chapter seven and <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Like I'm actually in shock. We're learning more about Verity. Check the content warnings of this book. This is just got- I mean it's been interesting, but this just got very, very interesting. Literally what? Like I actually have no predictions besides like the obvious ones, but because I just feel like whatever predictions I make, what's the point? What's the point when Miss Hoover is just going to turn it all on its head and scam us? I'm gonna read more. What chapter was this? Oh my gosh, this is such a cursed chapter. Chapter 9. Guys, chapter nine is so cursed. Oh okay, yeah. Um, the reason that I look sweaty and gross and flushed because I'm actually auditioning for the dance team that I'm on in my school. But you need to audition. You need to audition like every term, right? And I just tried to run the combo. Anyway, I also talked to my roommate who literally lives next door to me. If you're watching this, love you. I literally told her, oh, by the way, like tell me if I'm like too loud because I'm vlogging and reading the scariest book I've ever read in my entire life. And she was like, okay, so love that. Women supporting women. Guys, I just finished chapter 13. Oh my gosh, I should have vlogged it. I wish you guys could have seen me. I was like petrified, unmoving. I literally couldn't breathe. I was just sitting here like this, like like that literally because man catch me like reading books like this and being like like an absolute moron am i gonna get any school work done today okay i just finished the next chapter of so be it oh my god this is insanity actually insanity <sighs> 
I'm actually sweating. I'm actually so oh, I can't read. I can't read anymore. I'm on chapter 16. I can't. I can't look. I can't look. I know what's gonna happen. Okay, you guys can be here with me for this because I'm so scared to read this by myself. I'm actually shaking. This is so scary. Get out of that house, girly. Women support women. You GTFO right now. Okay, I just finished chapter 16. I've never been so scared reading a book in my entire life. I need to like close the blinds. I'm actually so scared. I'm just about to start chapter 18. The last chapter was another Soviet autobiography chapter. We got kind of an explanation about one thing. Also, can I just say that I love the structure of the story that Lowen is reading the manuscript and reacting to it in real time with us. There's just like two-ish more like events or like pieces of like the mystery, I guess, that needs explaining like these two specific events. Um, that I'm waiting to hear from through her manuscript. There's only two chapters left, right? Genuinely, I'm like so scared for Lowen's life right now. I want to tell her, I'm like, go and read those chapters because I need to figure out what it is. Still on chapter 18. This seems like it's gonna be like a very pivotal chapter. I'm actually so freaking scared right now. Also, Lowen is kind of going off right now. You don't need to do all that, actually. Sorry, I just read a line. It's literally the last line of this page and I'm like so scared to turn the page right now. I'm so scared. If you guys have read this book, it starts with Jeremy is going to. I hope you know what line it is, but I'm gonna turn the page. I'm so scared. I'm too scared to look. Oh, what? Never mind. I just know that these buildups are all gonna amount to something. I know it. Okay, guys, I'm on chapter 19. I've decided just now I am not gonna stop reading this book until I finish it. Also, this has really been a slow descent of me turning like crusty and crustier as the day goes on. Chapter 19 and exactly what I thought was gonna happen is happening. Okay, so I'm about to read chapter 14 of Soviet, which is one of the last chapters. I know that this is going to have some crazy confessions and some crazy things that happen in it. So I've decided that I'm going to time lapse me reading it. And you guys can see my reaction. Okay, I finished that chapter. So now I'm on chapter 20. <sighs> this is like the final mystery. Like the final secret has been like looming over us the entire book and it's literally the scariest thing ever. I'm on chapter 21. This is literally the last chapter in her manuscript. I just know that it's gonna be... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I literally cannot believe the ride that we endeavored on together. Thank you so much for being here with me because I'm scared. What the heck? Guys, what the heck? What the heck? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> I'm about to throw this book out my window. Bro, there's no breathing room. I'm literally fighting for my life right now. I'm actually having heart palpitations right now. What is happening right now? I'm on chapter 24. I'm gonna stop like live filming this thing and I'm just gonna check back with you guys after the book is done because I need to breathe. Okay, everyone, I finished Verity. I literally can't even process what just happened. I knew that Colleen Hoover was like, she has that trademark Colleen Hoover plot twist to all her books, but this is actually like next level, actually legal. I like don't know who to trust. I can't, this is such, guys, this is such... Miss Colleen Hoover has me wrapped around her finger. I can't believe that I haven't read her books. Now I read three of her books and now I need to read all of her books. If you can classify this as thriller, which I would because it was thrilling. Actually, I could hear the blood rushing in my ears. I like need to read more thrillers. I like literally cannot put this book down. It just had you thirsty for every single chapter that was coming up. And the way that it was interspersed, it was just so artfully crafted. Like every single thing in this story, so intentional. How did she come up with this? Can you believe that writers really do be coming up with stories just like in their mind. What? That makes no sense to me. The way that she can pack in so much in like the last 10, I kid you not, last 10% of the book. Last 10% I was dry heaving, I was shaking, screaming, crying, throwing up, projectile vomiting. Like I can't even explain it. Like I like don't think I breathed like in the last 20 pages of this book at all. You think that it can't get any wilder after every single chapter you read? You think that it's done. You think that it's over. It's not over. It really isn't. I literally can't even like process. <laughs> I literally read this book in a day. Less than 24 hours. We're done. We're literally done. Mm -hmm. I need to like go take a couple personal days now. Okay, actually, okay, I'm going to the spoiler free part of this vlog ends right now. I'm going to take this moment, leave right now if you haven't read this book. Don't spoil yourself with this book. I'm going to talk about massive, massive, massive spoiler things right now. So leave. Three, three, two, one. What the? What the heck was that? 
guys i like literally don't know who to trust i like don't know who to trust okay can you guys explain to me what do you guys think i'm a simple girl okay i'm so impressionable like so susceptible to suggestion like i would literally be the first one to be corrupted in that freaking divergent truth serum i'm so susceptible but i'm like skeptical but i'm like is that what she wants me to believe like you know what i mean everything about verity i feel like i would be down to low-key trust what verity wrote in her last letter like the dear jeremy letter sure the story checks out there were no actual eyewitnesses to anything that happened i just don't understand how she can fake the injury for that long that is the part that gets me because i'm like i don't know if i believe that part like being able to fake the injury for months you guys for months i don't know otherwise i would be down to believe her story because jeremy like he do be giving like toxicity and like red flags when he tossed the bowl chicken and dumplings or whatever onto the wall when a man has like violent actions like that that seem uncontrollable as if it was like an impulse like a temper anger impulse like that's a red flag to me like i don't trust that if you can't control that impulse like like who knows what else you can't control if that makes sense because of that i do believe that jeremy can be very violent obviously at the end when he was literally like about to almost kill her that's the part about verity's story that i do believe oh my gosh the other thing like i wonder if that argument like about the chicken and dumpling soup argument thing like i wonder if that was true the reason that jeremy was upset is because verity was like neglecting harper and only saying good things about chastin i wonder if like that event even happened and like whether that argument was about something else then that could have been made up the fact that she was ignoring harper i like don't know what to believe and just like everything else about like the canoe thing like i kind of don't understand the other reason that i don't really believe verity she was like oh hold your breath and didn't say anything to harper because she was like oh harper's fine like how like she's her mother like how would you not know that harper can't swim and even still she like held on to crew and started swimming okay listen i can't say anything because i'm obviously i'm not a mother i'm literally a child i'm like why would you not grab crew and then like paddle around for a little bit even just like try to find harper like because she said like oh i was swimming it was 30 seconds before i even like looked back and realized that harper wasn't behind us i'm like why would you not try to grab harper and you guys can all swim together why did you need to swim first and then 30 seconds later check to see if this girl's behind you she's literally eight she doesn't even pay taxes like you need to go check on her that's kind of the part that i find hard to believe especially if she was grieving that much over chastin too like wouldn't you be that much more protective about her literal twin that's the part that i don't really understand because based on okay i don't know if i'm like being stupid and like she's being the puppeteer and i'm like being a dumb marionette right now but that's what makes me believe that verity could have forged that like she was literally a writer by occupation like a very infamous writer it makes me think that she would have the chops to like orchestrate the entire dear jeremy letter uh, but then what would be the motive for that actually well the letter says that she would plan to take crew and like take off wait that doesn't really make sense though because her whole thing is that she's obsessed with jeremy so why would she want to leave jeremy okay wait here's a question if he had already discovered the manuscript before right what was he doing upstairs like for those several hours was he just like having a tantrum by himself or something i don't know what to think i actually don't know what to think you guys can tell me what you guys think can you guys message me um can you guys message me at sunny kim reads um to tell me what you guys think if there's any reading vlogs and any specific books that you want to see me read comment them down below oh i never mentioned this before but I have an Amazon wish list that's linked in my description. If you want to ever send me any books that you want to see me read for a reading vlog, feel free to do that as well. You can also message me and I can just add it to my wish list. Um, obviously it's optional. You guys really don't need to do anything or send me anything at all. Um, follow me on Instagram at Sydney Kim Read. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.